Welcome back to the Very Nerdy Viking, part of Barbarian Arms channel. So, today, got a new toy. It's been a little while sitting on the desk, and I uh, thought you'd like to come along for a unboxing. So first of all, there's a small order that I've put through. It's a local Australian company. Very, very quick. Beautiful. Not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. However, really quick, really good postage, um, really good pricing. Joys I like is 100% alcohol. So, for the process that I'll be using it for, uh, it can actually be diluted quite a bit. However, this is the box that turned up, and uh, it's probably good to uh, start unboxing and see what it is. So it's come from Shenzhen, originally, it does have the AU, but what I think people will appreciate is the fact that I haven't seen too many unboxings of this particular, oh, I need both hands, printer, oh, I just gave it away, it's a 3D printer. So. Where this is going. Oh, this might actually work. Probably not the safest way to do this. Let me just put this down first. Keep that in the background. So, what we have seems to be something wrapped in plastic. What have we got? We have Anycubic Photon Zero. So, to start off, we have instructions. It's an amazing packaging shit. Pull that part off. That's Australian PowerPoint, or adapter, some screws, a scraper, some other bits and bits of shit. Go through more in a second. Oh. This will be the cover. Oh. Birds from around the backyard. God, this is packed really well. This is amazing. Ooh, okay, so that bit comes off. Yeah, it's got some stuff on the top. So there's a little bill plate, and whoop, I will give them points for their packaging. That is for sure. Smallest printer as far as I know, uh, but I thought, why not? And to be all honest, this isn't sponsored at all, but just for a laugh, I put a bid down and I won, which was amazing. Wow, this thing's cute. This thing is cute as. So, what have we got? Single spindle, fill plate goes there. Left, power at the back, USB adapter there, oh, and USB. Oh. 
Indicators on here. Focus. Come on. There we go. Wait. Almost. Anyhow, there's indicators along here. Let's see if I can show you this one. This one. All right. So there's the level indicators on both sides. That's fantastic. Oh. What is this? This light aluminium. This seems, I don't know, where is that plastic? Oh, sounds in aluminium. It's got aluminium. Yeah. <laughs> Cheap aluminium. That will have to undo these up. All the way. Slide in. And it doesn't have locator pins, but there's little notches. In there, little notches that the screw drops into, die down it. I do like the fact that it does have a pore thing there, that's pretty cool. Um, build plate, what do we got? Ooh. It's brush textured, I suppose, to enable better adhesion. That will go in there. It's got the typical. Four lots of Allen key head stuff to tighten it down. Get the leveling. Cool. Um, slightly angled. I'll probably sharpen that a bit more so it's a bit tighter. A bit sharper, easier to get stuff off the build plate. And another script USB. Ooh. We have a after service card, which is great, and any cubic something or other, some gloves, a mask, two Allen keys, and some paint filters, which, well, in all honesty, yeah, they're usable for when you're pouring stuff back. So what I might do is start setting this up. And then if you actually turn it over, you get it in English, which is even better, because I couldn't understand what the hell we're talking about. So, install it, install platform, A4 sheet of paper about one mil thick on the curing screen, click home, press finger, finger press on top of the gently and then tighten the four screws. Lastly, zero it, and then detection, detection of the screen, select an image and testing time and then click screen, the curing screen should display a complete image you selected. Install the resin vat, insert the memory card, select the test file, make sure you wear mask and gloves to avoid skin contact, print, choose the file and hit print. Well, shit. Do not tear off the sticker on the back of the lid. No, I didn't do that. I don't know why, but yeah. such is the way of life and things. Now we have a piece of paper. That can go in here. So what are we doing? So we want to home. It's homing. So that's homed. So I want to press down and use this bend angle thingy to tighten her up. 
can't work. There's a photon zero. Cool. Well, it's doing a finger to me. Now. Now, that's pretty loose. I can drop it and that just grabs. That's pretty, I think that's the way it should be, or the way it's supposed to be. So I'll go back and hit zero, and we'll set zero to zero. And we'll hit setting OK, rise platform now, enter. And the platform's gonna rise. So this is my first resin printer. Um, you can see in the background here. Yes, that is an ANET. ANET's like three years old, modified severely, and uh, kind of hilarious. It still works, but you know, maybe it shouldn't. I do like how it does have the mill heights and stuff, and it doesn't go past a certain point. But what I need to do is do a detection test. So, so next. Looks like everything works. And we'll do mid range detection. I think they all work. And then I'll do the next a little small detection. Seems to all work quite well. So there's the testing done. So what I'm going to do now is USB into the side. Go back. We'll go print. We'll go system. Oh yeah, info, version 0, version 2.1, da 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 da, sweet. I wonder if you have to actually have the USB in there before you turn it on. That would be interesting. All right, so this is this is kind of funny. I just tested this off screen. So start up the photon. Yep, she's working. Yeah. You can see me put in a different USB. So this is just one I had lying around. Go print. Files have come up. Go print. There's nothing. Here's another USB, plug that in, it's 
skip out, skip in, there's the files. So the USB that comes with everything for the photon, including the test print files for the photon, uh, it's not readable by the photon. Zero. By any cubic. Ripper. Well, I'm going to button this up and then we might try and do a test print. <clears throat> so, what we have is the photon. It's obviously going to work now. Um, I have also got this ESUN standard resin because the photon set did not come with resin. Um, again, not sponsored by ESUN at all um, or the company that I bought it from, uh, which is cubictech.com.au. I get I use a lot of their filament. Um, Cubitech filament, the ESUN stuff uh, for my FDM, but uh, I just went with this because it looked good. Um, I thought it looked good anyway. So, but before I crack this open, PPE. It'd be interesting to see how much it actually smells because I've heard some absolute horror stories of it stinks. But since I've never done it myself, I want to. This is not the official COVID safe way of opening masks, but really don't get too so. All masked up. comes off. Hmm, interesting. So I do say shake it. Shake it. Now I wonder if that was a safety thing that's supposed to be left on. Oh, you can't see it but my partner's just out of shot laughing her tits off at me while I'm talking to a camera. So whatever. So Starting with this little. Come off your fucking bastard. There we go. She pops. Ooh, first bit of resin. Doop. Now there is a next mark. Ooh. Don't know if you can see this, but. Pretty rad. I'm going to go to there, just show the max. Go to the white. over a shop towel but you know live learn die young all that crap all right so deadly resin Ooh. goes up goes in Oops. now we've got an overcast day but i still want to do this fairly quick yep. Up. 
Right there. And we're safe. So, so now, we'll take these gloves off. I'll go ahead for other gloves. I'm gonna leave this mask on because I feel kind of sexy. And uh, go to the bin. And then I'm gonna use my USB. Boop. Load is red. I'm gonna go print. What I'll say this. I'm gonna move this around here. Playing, playing, playing. There we go. <sighs> what do we want to do? Cube? What's this one? That's a cube. Well, let's test. Let's do that one. Fingers crossed. That's a free hair from Asia, too. There you go. Right on my finger free hair that came with it and it's going to take 232 bobs. 0% done and it looks like it's a 45 second exposure so, <clears throat> I'll just leave it go and see how it handles. And while that's working, I can discuss more about my uh, the chambers that I've made. So, this is a washing tub from, hang on, I'm going to spin you around this way. Yeah, so that's a, a washing tub I've made. With some some mesh inside the container. Whoa, it's moving, and it's done one exposure of two hundred and thirty-two exposures. So let's see what happens with this unknown resin for unknown settings, and have no idea. So isopropyl alcohol gets poured in here. Washy, washy, washy. Drain. And then we can go into the curing station that I've made. Now, I'll just pick you up and squeeze at the curing station. So, that's it there. It's a bit upside down, and there's one small bit of adhesive LEDs that didn't stick. And I've gone around most of them with uh, hot glue to try and fix that. So, We'll have to see how that goes. I've got absolutely no idea, but so yeah, that's the printer in all its glory. And uh, we'll come back in a couple of hours. So, Photon Zero, how did it go? Well, not too bad if you ask me. Not that I'm an expert, but the first print we did is this one here. It goes across the full build plate. Um, it's actually eight components, so you can see what the go is at each sector on your build plate. Um, quite impressed with this. So next step, printed the classic any cubic cube, then a small bust, and a miniature. So to get closer, we'll zoom in and have a look at the quality. So zoomed in, this is what one of the sections of that build plate size print is. Now you can see if it would stay focused, it's got heaps of details. Please excuse my monkey cut fingers and stuff. I've been out in the garden this morning. But you can see the detail is not too bad. Yep, you do get layer lines. But, all in all, not a bad piece. Now, moving on. This is the classic AnyCubic cube. Now, there's only one component where it was a bit nasty so it melted it, uh, it built this way there we are on this edge here just a little bit thin but remember this is using Eason standard resin 
with no tweaking of the standard settings at all. So for me, this is a win. Next up, we try, thought I'd try a bust. Now this is just a classic werewolf bust found online, very common. Minimal cleanup, obviously you can see quite a lot of detail. Now, if we get at the focus, you can definitely see layer lines. I'll be interested to see how this turns out uh, when I um, do the undercoat and give it a paint. But for me, the detail is exquisite. And last but not least, it was the first multi-part print. Starting this little dude here. Uh, pretty impressed by that. Came with a base, which you can see the layer lines on. But uh, I will say this Esun standard grey resin. I'm not sponsored, but please feel free. Send me some free stuff. Is uh, it's great to sand. It sands beautifully. So this little fella came with this. You've got this is his shield. This back of his hand, and even the small piece of the sword is like this is minimal cleanup. So uh, pretty damn impressed with how this turned out. Any cubic photon zero. Is it a win? Is it a loss? Well, to me, it's a massive win. This little printer for under $300 delivered to your house in Australia is fantastic. Yes, you've got to buy the resin, you've got to buy the tools, you've got to buy the isopropyl alcohol to do the, um, the cleaning, you've got to build a chamber or UV chamber, curing chamber, whatever. Um, but to be able to print busts like this in under, what, 40, 40 minutes from setup, I did a couple of test prints. These came out amazing. So happy with these. I reckon with some tweaks to the settings, because we're using stock standard settings with resin I've never used before that's not made or didn't come with. It's not any cubic resin, it's uh, Esun resin. Um, the results are fantastic. So I hope to make some more little accoutrements, a little more little hobby dooders, paint them up, see how they go. But until then, um, happy printing. Like, subscribe, and um, catch you next time. Cheers.